Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Nick walks into Crimson Lights and greets Summer and Phyllis. He asks what they're doing there. Phyllis says they're hanging out and griping about things. He senses they want him to go, but they urge him to sit down. Summer admits they're discussing her ex-husband. Nick sits down and complains about Kyle hurting Summer again. He knew he should have popped him in the mouth. Phyllis thinks that's excessive. Summer's not looking for a fistfight. Kyle's just making bad decisions, and she feels like it's going to end in disaster. Phyllis asks if they're talking about scary poppins. Nick thought she was cool with Claire. Summer says the way he handled that whole situation was a red flag, but this is about his latest stunt. Kyle is involved with Audra Charles again, and she is even bigger trouble than Claire. Phyllis rants that Audra swooped in when there was trouble in her marriage. Summer says Kyle let it happen. She's bad news. Nick learns she saw them together conspiring at the bar and asks if she thinks they're romantically involved again. Summer thinks it could go that way. Nick asks why she cares, and Phyllis wants to know too. Summer doesn't want her around Harrison. Nick thinks it's a leap. You might be searching for trouble. Summer's sure it wasn't a random meeting from the vibe. Phyllis asks if there's more going on. Summer says there is something more, but I'm not supposed to say. Phyllis chuckles. Oh well. Oak, well, you're definitely going to have to tell us. At society, Victor asks Kyle why he told his father they were colluding against him. Kyle swears he hasn't said a word about their connection. I'm sorry he came at you like that. Victor's not worried about Jack's accusations. What I am concerned about is disloyalty in people who work for me. Kyle swears he hasn't said a word about his role at Glissade or his investment. Victor warns if he can't rely on him, his offer will be rescinded. Kyle won't violate his conditions. Victor asks why his dad talked about them colluding. Kyle thinks it may have had something to do with his run-in with Diane earlier. Victor muses, oh, I see. Kyle says he raised her suspicions by letting her know he was aware he'd left Jebat. They immediately assumed he had offered him a role at Newman. They know nothing about Glissade. Kyle vows he has no allegiance to his parents. Victor asks, so, you're turning your back on your family. Kyle says he's moving out, it's for the best. Victor has offered him an opportunity at a lifetime. I'm all in. There's no way he'd betray his confidence in him or tip off their future competitors. But there's something you should know. I can't control my dad's suspicions. Victor only needs to know that he can trust him. In Chelsea's hotel room in Baltimore, Adam and Chelsea dress. He asks if she's oak. She doesn't know. You. He replies, same. He asks if she wants to talk about what happened. Chelsea wouldn't know where to begin. I'm not sure I even know what happened myself. Adam's at a loss for words too. They didn't plan this. It just happened. They've been living a nightmare, Chelsea agrees. Tonight is just spilled over, Adam theorizes. They let their emotions get out of control and got caught up in old memories. We desperately needed to reconnect with those feelings again. Chelsea gasps, it was just an unexpected slip. Adam nods, a mistake. Chelsea agrees it was a mistake. Adam thinks the best thing to do is not to talk about it to anyone. Chelsea says he's right. They just have to put it behind them. They were just trying to deal with what's happening with their son. This doesn't make her any less committed to Billy or him to Sally. Adam says, of course, it doesn't. At Crimson Lights, Summer says what Kyle told her is going to be public knowledge in the morning, so she might as well tell them. Nick isn't sure it's their business, but Phyllis waves him off. Summer says Kyle and Audra are going to be working together. And the company they're working for is Jibboat's direct competition. His family fired him. Well, Diane fired him, but Jack didn't fight her on it. Phyllis perks up. Deanne fired her own son. From his birthright? That makes no sense. Who does that? She wants to know how Audra got her hands on her own cosmetics company. 
Summer says that's an even bigger part of the secret. She reveals the cosmetics company is Glissade. It was Tucker's company until Audra managed to steal it out from underneath him. Nick wonders where she'd get the capital. Summer says some secret investor came in and funded her. They all agree it sounds shady. Summer thinks Kyle is in the line of fire where McCall is concerned, and she doesn't want Harrison in the middle of all this nonsense.